Let's have a look at part B of this question in this video. Here I highlighted what matters in this question because otherwise if I crop all these papers it's taking too much space. So we're trying to estimate revenues of restaurants based on the median income of the people around those uh, restaurants, the city size where the restaurant is located and the competition, whether it's low, medium and high. And for that we gather sample of 84 restaurants to see what's happening. Now we have here two models estimated and we're gonna compare both of them. Now let's have a look what the question actually asks. Over here we have Table 2 and Table 3 have the results from the regression models. Uh, now I'm gonna skim through all this text to go straight to the questions. So which test is suitable to determine whether other restaurants in the neighborhood have a significant effect on revenue? What's gonna be the test distribution? What's gonna be the conclusion based on the p-value of the test? And what's going to be, what's going to be the uh, sign and magnitude of the dummy variables? And also the sign and magnitude of the coefficient for the dummy variable for large cities. Okay, so first of all, we have to understand what are we testing with, uh, with the dummy variables. Now, if we compare the model, if we compare the model three with model four, what do we see? In model three, we are regressing the revenue based on the medium income, the squared effect of the medium income, and with dummy variable, whether the city is in an urban city, in a big city. But in model four, we can see that we have the same three variables, but we are adding two more we are adding these dummy variables for the competition. And recall that we take into account the competition in the model, which has three categories, low, medium, and high. But in the model, we include only two dummies. Why is that? Because when we have three categories, we have three categories, we have to have one reference category and two dummies. So we have one reference category and two dummies. And the reason for that is because we're going to compare the effects of the dummies, these ones, relative to the reference category. We'll do that in a second. First of all, let's see whether these dummy variables are significant or not. Now, what are we testing uh, by adding these dummy variables? First of all, the dummy variables represent the competition. We want to know whether competition affects revenue, whether the effect of other restaurants, how many clients they have, how many revenues they, they have, affects how much revenue the specific restaurant we are researching is going to make. So in other words, we're testing the effect of competition. And because competition is described in three variables, low, medium and uh, high, we're going to test the joint effect. And since we have two of those variables in the model, because one of them is in the reference category, which is included in the constant, we are going to see whether adding these two dummy variables increases the R square of our model significantly. Because recall, R square increases when we add more variables, when we add more variables, but we want to know whether the change in R square is significant or not. So we're going to do a, ch uh, a test on R square. Now, what kind of test are we doing on R square? We're doing an F test. So in the F test that we're going to compute, in the F test that we're going to compute, we're going to compare, we are going to compare the difference between the R square of the full model, which has more variables, which is higher, relative to the R square of the restricted model with less variables. But we have to normalize this by how many variables we're adding to the model. And we're no normalizing it by the two additional variables for the competition. So this one, one and two, two additional variables in the model. So there we go, it's gonna be divided by two. And this one, we have to divide by one minus the R square of the full model relative to the number of observations, which is 84, minus the number of parameters in the model. The parameters are the independent variables in the full model, which are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So minus 5, minus 5 over here, and minus 1. Now, we, we would compare this with the F critical value, and the F critical value would have the same degrees of freedom as in the test. It's going to be 2, and this number over here, 84 minus 5 is uh, 79 minus 1, 78. So the critical value f would be 2 and 78 degrees of freedom. Now we would compare this with our distribution, but since we're using software, we can look, we can look at the results right away. So what we can see here is that in model four, it's showing us that adding the two variables gives us a significant change in the F statistic, meaning that the R square change is significant meaning that adding the dummy variables explains or predicts better. So competition has a significant effect on the revenues of the uh, restaurants. That's what the conclusion is. In other words, if we give a conclusion based on the p-value, which is uh, less than the significance level alpha, 
we would say that there is a joint effect of the dummies that's as general as we can say joint effect of the dummies but what we actually tested with this joint effect is whether competition has a significant effect on revenue and yes indeed competition affects revenue significantly affects revenue significantly that's the conclusion of the test now what else matters is to understand what the dummies what the dummies show us because the dummies recall these are the partial effects of the competition compared to the reference category and if we interpret this then how would we say it we would say that when competition is low in the market then the revenues increase on average by 64.7 relative to the reference category relative to when we have a medium competition because Low and high are the dummies included in the model, but medium is the reference category, which is not included explicitly in the model. It's included implicitly in this constant over here. So let's write that in a couple of words real quick to understand what the conclusion is. So having low competition, actually I don't, I don't really have space. I'm going to go to the right and write it over here. Having low competition in the market of the restaurants, low competition increases revenue increases revenue by 64 and by the way that's probably just in units we should multiply with the dollars amount but i don't know the dollars amount here but i hope you get the point it, uh, that's 64.7 units 64.7 units not dollars units i think it's in thousands of dollars uh, having low competition increases revenues by 64.7 units on average this matters this happens on average not always because recall there's always specific factors that affect revenues differently in different restaurants and this is what matters the most compared to the reference category and the reference category is the medium competition because it's not explicit in the model so compared to medium competition medium competition that's one part of the conclusion now let's have a look at the second one the second dummy to interpret it with the same logic when we have high competition we see that the revenue decreases on average by 116.5 units compared to the same reference category compared to when the uh, competition is only medium so let's write that down let me recall let me remember the coefficient 116.5 so having over here having high competition high competition uh, decreases revenue decreases revenue by I already forgot that I think what is 116.5 units on average units on average compared to having medium competition only compared to medium competition and now let's just see if this makes sense if it's intuitive low competition means less restaurants around means less clients for them means more clients for us in our restaurant so it kind of makes sense that low competition would increase our revenues and the opposite logic goes over here if there's more competition more restaurants around us they take a share of the market they take a lot of clients so less clients for us meaning that for us we'll have less revenue compared to the same uh, reference compared to when the competition is just medium hope this makes sense now with that said we have one more task to do and that was to interpret the coefficient of this urban variable so whether we are in an urban city affects the revenue and if we have a look at the significance level it's really high it's 0.2 so this coefficient most likely happened by chance because there's a 20 percent probability that happened by chance and that's unacceptable for our standards so it's insignificant and it's not worth interpreting and that's it that was all the questions hope this makes sense we are done.